All right, so now that is uh, that was the CS for transport. <coughs> Sorry for that, Kipchumba Murkomen having a conversation at the Spice FM, the Situation Room with Eric Latif uh, and his team talking about the transport sector. And the conversation mostly was uh, about uh, the power outage that was experienced um, at the JKIA on the way forward and what the government is doing in terms of power grid here in the country. More of that conversation, we shall be giving you an in-depth coverage through uh, stories that will be filed during the subsequent bulletins. But at the same time, other stories that are making the headlines, we are talking about the TVET, um, uh, the CDACC release of March and July um, 2023 assessment results. And it is that the Education Cabinet Secretary um, uh, uh, Ezekiel Machugu and the Principal Secretary, State Department of Technical Vocational Training, and that is Dr. Esther. Uh, they shall be actually today they are supposed to be releasing uh, the uh, the TVET um, C let me just get it correctly TVET CDACC result release of March and July 2023 assessment results the release uh, is supposed to be happening today and the official uh, program was supposed to start at 10 a.m. And so that is what you need to expect in terms of uh, the education uh, segment. But then I'd like us to cross over and listen in to what is happening. It sounds to me, just hold on. Yeah, yeah. It sounds to me like city, city. And they came back from that slumber with renewed vigor and have worked very hard to ensure that CDAC systems are reinstated in a timely fashion. During this short transition period, we had Mr. Joseph Njau, who was acting as, uh, as the CEO, and he steered the ship to, as he steered the ship to normalcy. And now, since um, about a month ago, we have installed a substantive CEO and secretary of the council. And the rate of development has been quite visible and accelerated. As we move forward, the Council will continue to do its utmost best to ensure the working environment of our staff is continuously improved. Ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate the accomplishments of our trainees, we are also mindful of the areas where improvement is necessary. The analysis of the assessment results sheds light on the areas that warrant attention and refinement. It is incumbent upon us to utilize this data to refine our training programs, identify areas for capacity building, and tailor our curricula to align with industry and labor market requirements. By doing so, we can ensure that our graduates possess the aptitudes and proficiencies that that are high in demand in the job market. The present curricula is now five years old. The seminal point at which best practice dictates that comprehensive review is now due. To facilitate the curriculum review process and, and, and quality assessment process, CDAC has begun developing relevant frameworks to guide curriculum development and assessment Man management will soon be inviting stakeholders to participate in reviewing and validating the draft documents. Furthermore, I urge all stakeholders here today to engage in constructive dialogue, exchange best practices, and provide valuable insights to strengthen CBET implementation. Your expertise, feedback, and collaboration are indispensable in our collective endeavor to enhance the quality and relevance of Tibet. Ladies and gentlemen, I reaffirm our unwavering commitment to advancing Tibet and nurturing a competent and adaptable workforce. Tibet CDAC will continue to work tirelessly um, along with all our stakeholders to uphold the highest standards of excellence, relevance, and integrity in vocational education and training. 
Uh, before I end, I would like to extend my most profound appreciation to the office um, of the CS as held by his uh, Honorable um, Mr. Ezekiel Mashogu and the uh, Principal Secretary Dr. Esther Moria for their total support and patience as CEDAC tries to find its bearing. We thank all the stakeholders, partners and participants for their continued support and dedication to the seabed cause. Together, let us forge ahead in our mission to empower individuals, industries, and economies through quality Tibet. Uh, Mr. CS, I'd be failing in my duty if I don't point out um, what is happening at the ground. Yesterday, I had the honor to visit one of our TVCs located deep in the heart of El Geyo Maracuet County called Kipsoen TVC. This institution is a true uh, <clears throat> evidence of the fact that TVET actually is working to empower communities. It is located where there's hardly any industries. But through the excellent leadership of the principal there, he has managed to, this year alone, nearly double the enrollment. He told me he arrived in March, and he had about 500 students. Now he has 950 students. I was quite impressed. Um, he's working very closely with the political leaders, the community, the uh, central, I mean, national government uh, officers, and the uh, traditional elders to promote Tibet. And one of his strategies, he, he's really thinking out of the box, one of his strategies is that any construction happening in the institution, even though the construction is not held by the, a local person, he encourages the contractor to ensure that all the small uh, enterprises around are given the work to do parts of the construction. So people are very happy. They can see value addition to their lives by the presence of this college in their midst. Um, at the moment I went there, he was uh, conducting uh, uh, the, pro the, the, the ICT program to promote um, knowledge and skills among the youth, the Jitume program, and he had over 100 students um, for two, three days. And the students were very enthusiastic. Some of them, I asked them, how many of you have used computers before? I think out of 100, I saw like three hands. You know, but uh, you can see then that that is going to make, and he plans to do this every holiday, and, and then, of course, continue to build on that. So I believe that each and every one of the principals present here, or leaders of institutions, you can do the same or even better within your localities to promote and uh, strategically place the TVET institution in the community. And it makes a difference because soon the, the villagers will build houses for the students. So they'll make an income and they will see the value of the institution in their midst. With those few remarks, I thank you for listening to me. And I would now like to take this opportunity to invite uh, the Principal Secretary, Dr. Esther Moria, to make her remarks. Education Cabinet Secretary Honorable uh, Eshekil Mashogu, Chair Tivet CDAC Professor Ahmed Ferej, CEO Tivet CDAC Professor Kisilu Kitainge, CEO Kenya School of Tivet, Dr. Edwin uh, Tarno, CEOs Drs. Langat and Kande, uh, Council members, Kati uh, Chair and members present, all my staff present, all distinguished guests present here, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today marks a significant milestone as we gather to 
not only deliberate on the progress and future prospects of Tibet, but also to commemorate the release of the eagerly anticipated March-July 2023 CBET assessment results. These results hold immense importance as they represent the inaugural CBET outcomes, signifying a monumental step towards uh, forward in our journey of educational innovation and excellence. The release of these results is a testament to the collaborative efforts between institutions, policymakers, industry partners, and the relentless commitment of our educators. It, it underscores our shared vision of equipping our students with not just knowledge, but the practical skills and competencies that are crucial for their success in our ever evolving job market. I wish to extend my deepest appreciation to TVET CDAC team, led by CEO Professor Kisilu Kitainge and Chair uh, Professor Ahmed Faraj, for working tirelessly to ensure that the results are released. This is a clear indicator to all Kenya, uh, Kenyans and Kenyan parents and student education stakeholders and even our international partners that Tibet CDAC is ready to lead the way. This will restore Kenyans' confidence in Tibet CDAC and in the department as a whole. Before I go to my last statement, I will wish to also commend other CEOs and all of you, even the, 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 the heads of the, our institutions, for working very hard to situate that our TVET transformations are going on well. I want to commend this institution's uh, uh, CS for the tireless effort in ensuring that our, our, our trainers are recrafted to, to a position where they are able to empower our young people with the much needed uh, skills. One day, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the CS and myself went to meet the economic uh, forum at State House, and all they told us is that you people, if you are able to recraft the trainers, then TVET will move on very fast and very well. And I came and told Dr. Tarno, I, I am not, I'm not responsible for training trainers. It is your work. So please do it. And I am glad to see us to report that Dr. Tarno has worked very hard because I have been going around this country to see what he is doing with his team. And I stand here as a witness that they have done a very good job. Please clap for this school. <laughs> Secondly, I also want to commend uh, 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 Tiveta and KNQA for the steps they are seriously taking to assist TVET CDAC in ensuring that the OSs are transformed into strategic curricula that our students can be trained into. If we continue to hold hands as the, the, as, as, as the institutions within the department, I am sure CS in the next two years in fact, give us two years from the beginning of the year coming, and this department will be very different because we have agreed. Yesterday, I had a very long discussion with Dr. What is your name? Wanyeki. With Dr. Wanyeki on behalf of, 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 of Dr. Langat in my office, and what we agreed is that we have got to hold hands and to work together to ensure that the OSs that Tibet CDAC is acquiring from labor are transformed into programs that we can, uh, we can now uh, uh, train our young people. And Dr. Tano here, like I've already said, is on the first lane to ensure that our, our, our trainers are recrafted. He's about to finish with the, uh, with the different pedagogy, then he is going to go into training them 
on the on the on the use of the equipment and we also had a long discussion the night before and yesterday also on taking up the Jitume lab space. So, ladies and gentlemen, my, my, my unequivocal plea, like I have done before, is that let us hold hands. Let everybody, each and every one of us, do their part, and we are going to see this department. I was in, I was in China the other day with the permission of the CS, and what I saw there, TVET institutions are like universities because the government and the industry are absolutely serious about, about this uh, space because they know it is from this space that their, 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 their countries have been transformed to what they are today. So ladies and gentlemen, we, let us leverage on this training, the skills acquisition, to be able to help His Excellency the President transform this country to the next level of development. And if we work the way we have started, I am sure we are going to get there. Lastly, as we embark on today's work, uh, release of exams and workshop, let us collectively delve into insights, discussions, and exchange experiences and strategize on ways to further enhance quality relevance and inclusivity of Tibet in uh, education. Your inputs will go a long way into enhancing this. And I also want in a very special way to thank our working partners, Morenga, please stand up. Um, wait, what is your name? <laughs> Wambua, engineer Wambua. <laughs> And I don't remember your name, I ask you what is the problem. Again, CS, these have been uh, among others, like see, I can. There is no representative of see, I can here. I call Morenga my partner in crime because we, are, we, we have decided to get so tight because this is the gentleman who has been teaching me on what dual training is all about. You know me when somebody trains me in something in our Ambianga, Cindy, oh? Now I'm being a Kanyi and in way they have trained me to be a Tibet person until now I appear to know more than they do. <laughs> and you are a many fundisha. Who you a many fundisha do a training until when I come to the institutions to talk to you about it, you think I know everything. It is this man who knows everything. And I thank him so much. I have told Wambua that this is not a largely industrialized country like Germany or China. But we need to hold hands and ensure that our students are doing something within the SM, SMEs, SMS, whatever it is called. And he has, he, has, he has been very pertinent. And Wambua, I wish to thank you together with your boss. What is his name? <laughs> they are very good friends of mine. In fact, he got a, a presidential commendation. Cindyo, congratulate him on my behalf. So, ladies and gentlemen, with those many remarks, I wish to take this opportunity to invite my boss, the CS Mashau, to give his remarks. Thank you very much. To Katie, to Katie. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, PS, Esther Moria. Thank you, the chairman.